Welcome to our control room at the barn house. I spend a lot of time in here. That's where I spend most of my time, actually. The centerpiece of our uh, recording setup is actually two Apollos, a Universal Apollo 8P and a, a Universal Audio 4P. Going from there, we, in regards to mic pre's, we have uh, two Universal Audio 4710s. We have uh, an API 3124, which sounds amazing on drums. We have a warm audio 273, which is the two channel version, which is uh, supposed to model their, it's basically their version of a Neve, which we use a lot on snare drum and kick drum. Over here we have our patch bay, is where everything from the live room and the amp room comes into here on. It's also where I do a lot of my reamping for mixing, all those pedals that I was showing you guys earlier. And here we have uh, a warm audio LA2A, which sounds really great, which is a compressor. Uh, we use it a lot on the vocals and uh, sometimes room mics. And the uh, control setup that we have for our volume and our talkback is we use an Apollo Twin, which gives us a couple more inputs as well. So in total, we have 32 inputs running here. And the last little piece that's hiding underneath the desk down here, it's my personal favorite. It's a Roland Tape Echo from the 70s. And it actually has uh, an old tape machine in here. And it also has a spring in it too, so you get some really cool echo and reverb sounds. And I use this a lot in mixing. That's how it's set up right now as an, as an insert in Pro Tools. So I can put this on, let's say, just use it like a normal plug-in when I'm mixing and mastering. And uh, we also have a guitar collection over here, too. A couple of my favorite pieces are this Harmony Rocket. I'm not quite sure exactly on the year on this one. We're thinking like early 60s. Someone modified it by putting an E on there, so now we call it the E Harmony. A little bit of an inside joke. Another one of my favorites is this, I call it the Bobcat, because my buddy Bob Granati made it for me. He's another awesome uh, engineer and producer in Victoria. And another one of my favorites is this Dan Electro. Probably because I'm just such a Jimmy Page nut. Especially when I'm smashing them right at the top. And I'm still a sucker for the two monitor setup. So since we are using the Apollos, the second monitor is where I keep the console app, and this the bottom one is where we used to do most of our mixing. And uh, the last big feature of the control room is probably the uh, it's our speakers because that's where we listen through everything out of. And they're Dynaudio Lit 8s. 